Hi guys. Hello. Um, we're back in the same space, but as we've hinted at in previous episodes, uh, under a new name and a new mission, uh, the new Agora. Um, the reasoning, well, let me tell you a little bit about that. In ancient uh, Athens, the Agora was the site at which uh, people came to discuss ideas, discuss topics, debate things, exchange all kinds of ideas. Um, and then Edinburgh in the 18th century was given the name, or claimed the name actually, I learned that today, Athens of the North. And so our aim is to reestablish uh, and build a new Agora in the Athens of the North. Now, specifically, uh, we believe that Edinburgh has more to do to, to claim this name uh, and to live up to it. And dare we may even say that we've forgotten a little bit about uh, mm. that, that significance. Um, and it's important to remember that our ideas, folks, our ideas cannot be uh, broken or confined or put down, right? Ideas are like, are like seed. Ideas may be, you know, squashed and underneath the soil like seeds so that they haven't sprout yet, but um, they're still there. And so we need, we need to exchange them. Um, and, you know, I'll say that if we go along that metaphor, good ideas, good ideas are like plants, right? Plants and trees in a garden. You need, they start out as seeds, but in order for them to grow into strong trees that produce good fruit and, and healthy plants, you need to continue to engage with them, to water them, to nurture them, to build upon them. And we can say that bad ideas are like are like harmful vines, right? They, in order to properly get rid of the vines that may choke your trees, choke your plants and, and break them, you need, you need to look deep into where they're coming from. It's not enough to just cut off the top because they will keep growing and you can't ignore them. You need to go to their root and, and, and pull them up by the root and break the roots in order to to keep them from breaking up your garden. And so, I'm sorry about this, I have a cold. And so, in some sense, right, there's a double meaning to this because the Agora was not just the place where people came to discuss ideas, but it was a literal marketplace where people exchanged goods and things, right? And so, well, when we have our, our garden, metaphorically speaking, right, and we're building trees and, and we're, we're, sorry, we're growing trees and plants, these trees and plants produce things that we can then sell, right? And so it's important that when we use these, when we use these plants and these trees, we don't want, we don't want to be using fruits from, you know, trees that are, are weak, and we don't want to be um, using, you know, bark and wood from trees that are, are weak and fable and that haven't been tended to and cared to. We want strong trees. And so what is better? A marketplace with, with fruit from, you know, weak trees and chairs and tables made from the wood of weak trees? Or do we want wood and chairs and tables and fruits from strong trees. And so we need to work together, folks, to build up this marketplace of ideas. And each one of you has seeds to grow. Each one of you has numerous seeds to grow that need to be planted and need to be thought out and need to be nurtured and engaged with, with the community. Because we, we can't do it alone. We need you to foster and nurture this garden of ours to help create the new Agora, where we can sell and debate and exchange these ideas and the, and the products that come from these 
strong ideas and these, these strong trees of ideas. And so our mission is, is to help build that new Agora and for you to be a big part of that, to help us uh, in building that new Agora. Very well said, I think. Um, <clears throat> I'll add only a small thing to that. Um, what we're, we're doing... This. Oh, thank you. Get thank the you. mic. Cheers. Yeah, so what I'll add to that is that we are looking to speak to and hear from any and all perspectives. Right? We are looking to embody the principles of free speech, academic freedom, and equality of dignity. Right? So you, you uh, whoever you are, whatever you think, uh, whether you disagree with things we're talking about, want to bring things to the table, uh, just want to get involved, you're more than welcome, and we want to hear from you. Um, and this is, dare I say it, uh, intended to be a, a safe place in the truest of senses, in that not that you will be mollycoddled, because you won't, ideas, like as Athens has just said, need to be contended with, and they must be contended with. Um, but it is a safe place in the sense that you can come here in the confidence, as you should at a university, that you can stand up and say what it is you have to say with no anxiety about whether or not you were going to be punished, penalized, persecuted for having done so. That will not happen here. Um, even if we disagree with you, uh, we will allow you the space to say what it is you have to say and contend with your ideas and you can contend with us. Um, so I won't ramble on too much. I just wanted to add that. Um, I think it would be wise to, I think it'd be wise to, to get into a little bit of logistics now so that people know, please, um, uh, how to find us and get in touch with us and, and do the things that we're asking them to do. Yes. Yes. Um, so we have a new website. Um, uh, Matthew, why don't you tell them what the new website is called? Well, the name is The New Agora, and surprise, surprise, yeah. the website is www.thenewagora.org. Yes, and you should be able to, uh, like like you said, thenewagora.org. Um, if you type in The New Agora, it should be one of the first that pops up. Um, but if not, thenewagora.org. And you can also find us on Twitter um, at the new Agora and Instagram uh, at the new underscore Agora. Underscore Agora. And you can find links to our Twitter um, and Instagram on the website also. Yes. Uh, what is the, what's the name of the YouTube channel? Has that stayed the same or? No, it is the, the new Agora also. Awesome. So we're, we're all in on the new Agora. Excellent. Excellent. Um, and yes, so if, if you would like to get to touch it, if you are a topic that you feel strongly about, that you feel you want to express, develop, like I said, uh, engage with more, uh, Matthew, how can they get in touch with us to do so? Well, either via the uh, the social media platforms. Um, there will also be a place on the website uh, where you can sort of comment, I believe. We're going to also have... Um, a space up there for short essays and publications so that if you want to write something um, and send it in and you want it to be presented and you want to contribute to a discussion or start a discussion, uh, we're hoping to have a space where you can do that, uh, where you'll be able to send it to us. And there'll be like a little bit of vetoing. Just, yeah. Just not, we're going to be pretty liberal with uh, what we put on there. Yeah. Because we want, again, like I said, ideas and thoughts to be discussed. But you'll send it through to us, and then we'll post it on there, right. and then there'll be a place for presumably comments and discussion yes. um, backwards and forwards. And I'll say that we will post <clears throat> our emails uh, on the website. They should already be there, but if not, we'll post them very shortly. Um, so you can send your articles or essays to us via email. Um, and then also there is a contact us page on the website where you can tell us that you have an idea for an episode and want to do it. Um, and pretty much if you have an idea for an episode and want to do it, we'll pretty much always say, yes, it's only just a matter of scheduling, mm. uh, time. So don't feel like your topic or your thing is not good enough, or maybe you don't know enough to do an episode. Um, 
because figure it out. You know, we'll figure it out. You know, we, I, both of us, right? We, we grow a lot from learning and discussing ideas. We, we often come in to an episode not really having a firm grasp of what we think, frequently, what we're feeling, and then we, we use this space to hatch out a better understanding. And you know, sometimes we don't, we don't leave with a total, complete grasp, but usually, and most times, we often come to a better uh, understanding. Is that fair to say? Yeah, yeah. Well, I make. I think neither of us make any uh, particular claim to knowledge or wisdom um, in what we do or what we say or what we talk about. Yeah. Um, we're just trying to figure things out. We live in a crazy world, folks, um, and we need to be able to think about our problems because we have many of them. And if you can't talk and you can't think about the problems that you have, you can't solve them. And then you have loads of problems that you can't solve and then you're in trouble. So, um, so let's talk yeah, exactly. is what he's saying. Exactly. Um, so yeah, that's that. I think you have the instructions in the roadmap to help us build the new Agora in the Athens of the North. Well said.